Hey, what's going on guys? Double One Eight Set Shadow here. We've had a lot of rounds of buyout after buyout after buyout recently, but with that we've neglected cards that have not really been in that same boat yet. They're still worth mentioning given what they've been going through over the last few days, weeks, sometimes even months. But with that, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these. So the first one is One Night Witch Strega, which is from the Trick or Trick set. This is our newest cycler, which does its effect based off of playing normal orders. And this one has a number of listings available right now, starting at about $17, and it does get bought for that price pretty consistently. Looking at it, there are plenty of them that are currently available for around $17 and it eventually makes its way up into the $18 mark for the first page. So there are, there's still plenty available at a decent price. Rebel Form Full Blast is going, well, it looks like it's going down in value. We have a lightly played copy that's currently 1975, but we can also see near mint copies that are underneath $20 right now, and we've got a lot of copies available. Now that Worlds is over, I suppose players are looking to offload or try some new stuff. And in general, also just prepping for the next round of tournaments and the next round of cards that are going to be big. We've got the Shiranui and Luard stride deck sets coming this month as well, so that's something to pay attention to. To that same point, a card that used to be pretty big in the past is now really cheap in comparison. Youthburg Rebel Form Gust has dropped down to $250 for its base. It still gets bought for $2 to $5 as of late, but the market price is currently around $5, and in terms of available listings, we do have a good amount of copies that are under $4 right now before you consider shipping. And quantities are up there as well, so not too difficult to pick up. On top of that, it is getting reprinted, which does not really help its value there. And then you've got Forbidal Surrogate, which we have been talking about for a while. And in in current days, we've got lightly played copies listed for 47 right now. And they're still selling for $50. But in terms of available listings, we're seeing a lot of 4748s for the first several listings, and throughout the first page, we do stay under 60. And the fact that we even have a first page now is some good progress for players, as before this card was next to sold out, now we have 17 listings on the market. Though I would be careful on that, given that this does have some potential to see some more play with the later deck sets that might be coming. But I guess with Worlds Over, that also made it so players are not as likely to pick them up for premium. Then the Chrono Jet Stride deck set. Now that we've got the new Stride deck sets coming, and on top of that we've got the new Chrono Jet and Messiah promos for February, I wanted to revisit the prices for this and Messiah. So if we take a look at the deck sets, the premium deck set is sitting at $200 base right now, while the regular deck set is still $90, both of them are under or at 5 listings, and Mazer Gear Dragon is still $33, you only get one of it in the deck and you need it for the crest of course. The crest is not that expensive, if you want the foil version, or I should say the TDR version, I guess that's like the SP here, that's $8 to pick up. And then, of course, you've got other TDR versions of other cards like Arlim, Upstream, Dragon, which are 5 and $3 respectively. And if you take a look at Next Stage's TDR, despite it being a full art, it's only a dollar right now. But you, get a, but you get four of them as long as you buy the premium deck set. So we're still looking at about the same price as before. And I would say the same for Messiah which is significantly lower than Chrono Jet at 110 for its premium set, and 5080 is the base price for the regular version of the deck set. A Sleep Messiah is at only one copy though at 3475, which is a little bit higher than Mazer Gear Dragon, 
I'm not sure why this one is close to bot. Probably because players are not cracking open this deck set nearly as much as they were cracking open Chrono Jet. You've also got Eldo Breath in this deck, which is a significant over trigger, so you do get value out of that one. It's 767 base right now, and the crest, the foil, the like the full foil version, is four dollars at this point. We take a look at the others. If you want the TDR of Cosmo Reap, the perfect guard, they're actually pretty close in value right now, so you might as well just go for the TDR if you're picking up singles on that one. Draken Tree Rich Bist Abtius. This has been one of the bigger Draco Tree Draken Dragon Tree, sorry. Dragon Tree Wretches. Where right now the price is currently at $8 base and it's got 12 listings. Overall, this card has still been selling recently, and it's been selling for just under $8. $7.30 and $7.79 were some of the latest sells here. And in terms of available listings, we do have a number of copies at $8 and eventually $9. So, Vist is likely to remain one of the bigger ones, but the fact that it even stays this relevant is kind of surprising. Though I suppose with its second skill, you wouldn't even use it for the dra dragon tree markers, you just use it to fetch normal orders in certain circumstances. Then of course you've got Griffo Gila, who is not likely to be getting any support for a while. I would think that it would get some more support later, otherwise it's just going to be forgotten entirely. But for now the price is 402 base and 17 listings overall. Listings have been selling more sparsely for Griffo Gila, mostly under the $4 mark, and we do have some that are above that right now. Since it's sparse, let's take a look. The vast majority are play sets or close to play sets, and they mostly sell for $3 to $4. In terms of availability, $4 is pretty common amongst the base listings, and it goes as high as $5 for the first page. Then you've got Knight of Excision Diorung, or Diorung, which had been bought out for quite some time, but recently a lot of copies found their way back on the market, and we've got 34 listings on the rare at 75, 79 cents to start, and the FR is currently at $5 base, where its market price used to be closer to 10. That's the buyout point that it had before, but the popularity has decreased, even with Luard incoming. Then we've also got the crit heal triggers from Festival 2022, like Hardiness Tear Sorceress. This card had a market price of over $2, well, it still does. But recently, it's gotten a lot more listings and a lot more quantities at the $1 mark. So, if you want to pick this up, it's down in price. And going forward, it might still be good to have a copy or two of this in your back pocket. Same goes with Cl Cure Flake Flare Draco Kid, the Dragon Empire version of this card, where the market price is also $2, but this one sells higher. The base price is $170, and we have a lot of copies that, that are just a few cents off of $2 right now. So, this one is a little more expensive, but it's also on a downtrend, so... I... Don't know if it can go much further down, but since Tear Sorceress did hit one, it wouldn't be too surprising for this to hit one either. And our last card for today is going to be Radon Kunai, one of the promos that's used for Shoto Doji. Currently, pricing-wise, they're pretty even. You've got the foil version and the non-foil version, both around $9, $10. There are more copies of the non-foil available, but if you are looking for the foil... Let's see. Oh, but that's a lightly played copy. Okay, I stand corrected. There is only a lightly played copy for under $10, and after that, it's actually $17. And it goes up to 35 and with only seven listings left. Well, I call that the Shoujo Doji hype for it winning worlds, but it is a, it is a pretty solid card for the deck as well. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys later.